we so quick to turn on our brothers and sisters? This is why we are where we are. If we are together, if we are our brother's keepers, we, we, we wouldn't be facing this. They disrespect us because we don't respect us, ourselves, and our brothers and sisters. That is exactly why we are where we are. Seriously, this is the right move for Niger right now. It's, it's incredibly disheartening in my opinion. But let's get into it. Fam, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm extremely annoyed by the news I read. I read this on iGambia and I couldn't believe it's real. Not gonna lie. Niger's president invited the French troops after they got kicked out of Mali. Some people in the comment section last time were saying they didn't officially get kicked out. It's the people that refused them Okay, then let's uh, rephrase. The French troops are leaving Mali because the people protested. The people do not want them there anymore, as well as Malian transitional government, which is the junta, made it clear that they are cutting ties with France. And I've, I've, I've listed down what they have uh, communicated by their spokesperson. So you can go and watch that video. I'll put it, I'll link it to this video. So when they did that, the President Macron and EU started catching feelings. They were like, oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you won't. Like as if, you know, um, them reacting will change things. They thought that them being pissed and making statements left and right will change Malian's mind or the transitional military government, the junta's mind. But it didn't. If anything, they were telling them to just leave them alone and to make it quick, right? By telling them um, the ambassador has just 72 hours and then he'll have to leave and all that reports that uh, I have covered, right? So after all this, and President Macron just announced that he is officially um, telling the troops to leave and they're going to leave until March, I believe they're going to finalize it. Now, Niger's president, the next day that Macron announced that uh, French troops are leaving Mali, he comes out and he says, you're welcome to come to my country and help me because we have been having issues in um, in our borders with Mali and this uh, rebel group is destined to expand. Even the word he used is destined to expand. Like, wh why, why are you saying this? That's your brothers and sisters. That's your neighboring country. Why are we so quick to turn on our brothers and sisters? This is why we are where we are. If we are together, if we are our brother's keepers, we, we, we wouldn't be facing this. They disrespect us because we don't respect us, ourselves, and our brothers and sisters. That is exactly why we are where, where we are. I think so. So, for this man for this president with all due respect he's a president we will try to respect him and we will not disrespect him but we are allowed to question his intentions or his move why in the world would you invite the french troops when they just left mali and you you know the evidence you know that they have not been helping malians the way they promised and it didn't work if anything the jihadists are more now and that's what the people are claiming that's what your neighboring country is claiming instead of believing or taking it into account you're just allowing them to come actually inviting them how sad is that i just this really really pissed me off but let me know down below what your thoughts are fam especially if you're from niger why do you think um the president said this and how how do people feel about his move anyways fam I, let me know down below because at the end of the day politics is dirty and we don't know what kind of deal they make behind the scenes so all we know is what we see in front of us so let me know down below and let's discuss more i am Wangel Zalalam fam i'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye